guys, I'm S. Dan Wolf. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Lost Creek. Remember, we've actually not even been in Lost Creek for like, since like June. So what is that? Four, maybe five, five months away. Um, but I thought we could jump in here and maybe do a little tour. Just let you guys see what this looked like, you know, towards the beginning of summer, end of spring and get some thoughts and ideas rolling now that we know the Twilight Pack's coming. And uh, one of you all maybe even commented on a video or on Instagram and said Lost Creek would be perfect to do a Boo at the Zoo type uh, layover, and I think that is a killer idea. Um, I just had the little flags and lights and stuff up, even from June. Remember when we were kind of thinking about doing a little fall festival? But now with Twilight coming, I think we can really spook this up. Uh, you know, we can get some more food trucks out here and you can even see what they teased out early, early today with different pumpkins we're going to get. Uh, I just think that is going to be really, really helpful with uh, with kind of like, you know, boo at the zooing this whole area up. And one big thing that we know we saw was kind of like falling leaves in the trailer. And we know that, uh, you know, even way back in the Pine Creek days, we used some of the orange trees to make it look like there were fallen leaves on the path. But it's kind of looking like what some of you guys were saying, we may get actual leaf pile uh, scenery pieces that we'll be able to place down all over the park anyway. So technically we might not have to fake that anymore. Um, we'll just kind of have to wait and see, see what we can kind of make happen with that. And of course, see what kind of autumn type trees we may get. Because you know, right now, if we go into our trees, and if you kind of, if you usually go down to the bottom, see we kind of have a river bush willow tree that kind of gives off a pretty cool orange. Well, let me show it to you in the daytime. This bush willow has a really good fall kind of orange vibe to it. There's a couple little different, you know, variations of that, which could look very cool. And what else? Oh, yeah, the uh, Quaking Aspen. Very, very cool, very beautiful yellow yellow on that, so may be able to come in and even use some of these that we already have in game to kind of, you know, sell that, um, sell that fall type feel. Um, Line Rider has some Outback Dead trees in his, uh, in his Africa pack. Only thing is, if I do that, then you guys would have to download it if you ever wanted to go in this park. But that is a, uh, these are some, these are some pretty spooky trees. Line Rider kind of had that going before uh, before the Twilight Pack. Um, but yeah, I, I'm, that's what I'm really almost most interested in is what kind of foliage are they going to give us? So we'll kind of come down through here. We'll, um, we'll try to figure out some kind of little fun, um, you know, fun little overlay for Wild Burger. Really get that going spooky. Um, of course, the wolves back here and Gator Trail. There's all, I think there's all kinds of little fun things we can do to kind of really help show off the, the Twilight Pack. And then, of course, maybe my first video, um, we will come in and just kind of click on the different pieces and let you guys see. Big Brody has to have some pumpkins. We've got to, we've got to get some Boo at the Zoo vibes over here in Bear Country which they're kind of making their they're kind of making their way to the back. I mean even look right here where I have the the regular lanterns hanging. We could put those uh like spooky lanterns that we saw in the trailer. Those can hang from that. Um I'm I'm assuming we we're going to get some kind of spooky garland. Um and then of course we'll really pumpkin it all up. Make your way back through here further into Bear Country, you come up to the the Beavers bro the Beaver Brothers restaurant, kind of flanking off to your right, and then remember we took out the goats and the black bear, and we actually just extended Big Brody and Maggie's exhibit, and they're actually over here right now. So just look how massive we created their 
enclosure now compared to kind of compared to what it was. So this whole area, it's almost like a chicken leg. This is their whole um, their whole paddock now. But of course, you know, too, they're the stars of bear country. But, um, you know, Lost Creek really lends itself, I think, nicely to uh, to some little twilight woodland critters. We could even do a, we can even redo this. Um, you know, I, I don't want to necessarily remove the European badger, but we could do a, a raccoon exhibit over here. There lots of little things we could do. Then, of course, I adore Cybers's. Um, kind of like her uh, uh, bongo habitat she did back here for us. So we can't touch that. We may have to give them some pumpkins. Kind of give them some pumpkins back here, but this is one of my favorite exhibits in all the zoo, and I didn't even build it. <laughs> That's just that eye Cybers has for creek layouts and, and rock work and that, you know, that over overbrush. Just so freaking cool. We've got the Lumberjack Pizza that I stole from uh, Pine Mountain, which actually Savannah said, be on the lookout. Um, she may jump back in and give Pine Mountain a go again once the Twilight Pack comes out. So that's just like the little wood fire, wood fire pizza area back there. But I think there are a lot of cool directions we can go with this. Um, Remember even the um, Lost Creek Ranch and Petting Zoo down here. We can make this really fun, kind of get real spooky down in here with whatever they give us. Um, the African area, you guys will have to give me some ideas for back in here. And, you know, some I'm not saying we have to do the whole park because I think even some even I don't even know if Zoo Knoxville does all of the zoo. As far as Boo at the Zoo, they may rope some of it off. But we don't want to necessarily leave Val and Earl out of the spooky <laughs> out of the spooky shenanigans. Our big boys back here, or our elephants. We haven't checked in on them in a long while. Is that one taking a poo? No, he's just stretching. She's just stretching. Remember, I loved when we made this elephant redesign happen gave them a ton of space oh here comes a big boy coming across the bridge <laughs> glacier ridge back here which we haven't really developed much anymore um that was kind of like our that was like our last end of winter, kind of right after Christmas project, like land expansion. Leaf started even working on it for me. Got a really cool kind of mountain layout back here and, a, and an awesome bridge that we've not done anything with yet. Uh, maybe we can do some kind of spooky tour back here, um, kind of like in our natural bridge area. Haven't started anything back there either. We were going to actually start Elton in a Jeep tour either back there or back where uh, Becky did the hyena exhibit for me. And then, of course, I absolutely adore Wyatt Workshop's Land of the Lion exhibit. Little kind of like old market area. And then uh, Leaf came in and did the... Uh, Penguins for me. Really, really cool. But yeah, my guest builders have just come in and absolutely knocked it out of the park for me. Um, this over here, I don't know, it might end up getting deleted. Remember, this was kind of like a little adventure course I was thinking about doing. But then I got, I, I kind of got stupid with the waterfalls over here. So I don't know. It's, you know, it's cool, but I don't know, it might be a little much over there. Um... Yeah, I don't know. I do not know what we want to do with that. 
I just know we have not been in Lost Creek in quite a minute. But I think it would be a very cool show-off zoo for the Twilight Pack. You guys just have to let me know kind of what you think of the layout and if you think it lends itself good to um if you think it lends itself good to the pack. I don't really know. I don't really know if I have much else to really show right here. Much less to kind of ideas to go through. We kind of know kind of know what we need to do and what we need to do to make happen to kind of sp spookify this place up. But I just kind of wanted your all's thoughts. Maybe you've seen something that kind of jumped out at you and, you know. Oh, I'll tell you what we can do, though, real quick while you're here. Let's jump in and let me show you, um, let's see, Suyana. Let me go in and I'll show you uh, the Flights of Wonder facade that I was working on. Probably... I think towards the end, well, actually probably towards the end of September was the last time I messed with this, maybe middle of September. Um, I just got back from Animal Kingdom. We went down there on like a week's vacation, went to the parks and stuff, and I come back with some really, really, really good inspiration. And um, it's not it's not called Flights of Wonder anymore. It's actually a new show, but I just thought that the letters kind of lined up better with kind of what I was trying to do with that facade, but... Yeah, let me jump in here and show you. I don't know how long it'll actually take so you got it to load. Anybody that shows up to the live streams knows that uh, sometimes Suyana can take a little bit, but eh, we're here hanging out. It'll be all right. I really, really appreciate you guys' um, feedback and um, just kind of interacting with my Twilight Pack announcement video. That was a really, that was really fun to come back after a couple months and just immediately have a video hit a thousand views in a day. So really appreciate that. It's It was just weird to just be back into YouTube studio and my phone going off with notifications of YouTube comments. Because, you know, when you stop uploading, you know, people move on. That's, it just stops. You're not, if you don't upload for two or three months and you don't have, you know, thousands of videos out there or a hundred thousand subscribers, the comments stop. People move on. They start, you know, why wouldn't they? You know, if, if a YouTuber just hasn't made a video in two or three months, you kind of just, you know, you watch other things until they come back. And it was just so crazy yesterday. My phone just, as soon as I put that video out, my phone just <laughs> like half the evening. And uh, that was a cool feeling again, just not, you know, not being into into content creation, pretty much taking a big summer break. But like I said in that video as well, I think it's going to be cool that we're kind of getting back into the colder months. More people are going to be at home. The more people are going to want YouTube content. Um, the summer breaks are officially over. I think everybody's back in school, back to work. Um, even some, some schools and stuff, everybody's like, they're back. They're already to fall break, like either this week or either last week or... So I think people are, um, I think it's going to be kind of turning back around to staying at home again and um, staying out of the cold and just getting in your jammies and consuming some, uh, some YouTube content again. And I think that's going to be, that's fun for me. And I think it's going to be a good time to kind of jump back in and, you know, maybe get back at it. Maybe not. I, I still am just floored that for almost two years we put out a video like every day. I mean, we were all, it was, it was, maybe it wasn't every single day, but it was absolutely every two days there was a video coming out. And now, like, I do a video like once or twice a month, and I feel like, oh, I got, got a couple videos out this month. Oh my God, I got three videos. Like, we were doing, sometimes I would put multiple videos out a day. But yeah, let me just show you Flights of Wonder here real quick and you nerds tell me what you think. I think the little theater area just works out perfect right here across from the splash pad. Isn't this cool? Now, I still, I, obviously, I have to work on the actual cover and more seats, but yeah, this is the start of the Flights of Wonder 
theater and pavilion. So it's kind of like right after you uh, make your way past some of these gift shops, Riverside Trading Post, turn the corner, you can see the splashing from the splash pad, and then right across from that is Flights of Wonder. As a matter of fact, I might get rid of this. I might get rid of that little African palm. Kind of open that area up a little bit. Maybe I should have set it back a little more. But I, I think the, I think it has a nice little presence here. I really like how the columns came out. Love, love, love the letters. Uh, I found these little bird portraits on Google. And we're, we're able to put those up there using screens. Which I think just worked out really well. Isn't that... Don't those look cool? And of course I've still got some more facade work to do and all that. But... Yeah, remember that went from chimpanzees to nothing to Indian elephants to now it is the Flights of Wonder uh, theater show. So, hey, maybe when we get this new pack, I might be able to put one of those walkthrough exhibits in there with the bats and uh, actually have people walk back in there and, and use the stage. So, yeah, I thought that'd be... I thought that would be pretty cool. I thought you guys would like the whole little layout of that. Um, remember, we've destroyed the elephant habitat over here. And we've got the new elephant paddock. Kind of right over here, across from the lions. If you guys haven't caught that a couple months ago, we redid the whole lion area. And uh, we, we destroyed um, the whole African elephant area. And totally redid it, and I just think this looks a lot better than what we had. But anyways, guys, yeah, I've jawed on enough. I have no idea how we ended up in Siana when we were just supposed to be looking at Lost Creek. But I haven't talked to you guys in a while, so I kind of wanted to show you what's been happening and what is uh, what is going on in, uh, in, in my Planet Zoo fantasy worlds here. But anyways, guys, as always, leave me a thumbs up if you're enjoying this video, and always comment down below because... The algorithm loves comments, and when it sees you commenting, it puts it out there in front of other people that are looking for Planet Zoo content, and they comment, and then the cycle just kind of snowballs. So um, the comments, you know, the liking is good, but nothing helps in YouTube like commenting on videos. That is like the end-all, end-all that gets it pushed out to more people um, when that algorithm sees people taking the time to actually comment on a video. So that is uh, that is absolutely what helps us the most. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for stopping by. And I'll catch you in the next video. See ya!